Guam. Shout out to Guam. We're a few brothers here from Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Come with uh, another guy's speed lesson. But before we get started, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We'll lead teaching rule well. Love and honors to our occupant, Christian Word, and true favor, sincerely, and shallow wine to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. Like I said, there's a few brothers here from GMS Atlanta camp. Um, going to come with a lesson uh, pretty much going into how, uh, one, it's important for us to come and uh, 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 prophesy the words that we have through the Spirit of God, how Bosh and Yahweh Shai, because, two, that's a sign of the coming of our Lord and Savior, man. You know, uh, us doing this work, uh, we do it for a multitude of reasons, but one reason in which we do it is to uh, hopefully be a part of the fulfillment of the prophecy of men coming out and being able to uh, 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 speak and publish this word before uh, uh, the entirety of the earth, man, to uh, bring upon the coming once again of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, Buzz, got anything to start off? Uh, looking for it. Okay, okay, I just, I just, uh, oh, you can hold uh, Wisdom Solomon 5. I just started Psalms 110. Uh, this is Psalms 110. I'm going to start at the top. It says, it's a Psalm of David. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. All right. It says, the Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. For thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Okay, and the, and the Lord in which uh, King David was speaking about is Yahweh Shai. Okay, and a part of us, of, of our people, um, um, being um, willing to the day of, of day of our power is a part of that is us. You know what I'm saying? A part, a part of that is is men in which the, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has laid the spirit of prophecy upon to go out and once again push and publish the word and doctrine and true understanding of the Holy Scriptures before our people. To, uh, to bring the rest of the body in the nation of Israel, uh, uh, bring them to the marriage, so to speak. I'm gonna read that again and then read verse four. I'll pass off to you. Uh, this is Psalms 110 and three. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast to do of thy youth. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, okay? And we understand that uh, through the spirit that Melchizedek was Yahweh Shai coming um, uh, uh, in a spiritual form, you know, uh, in the time of Abraham. But we, Lord willing, are uh, priests after their order as well, man. Okay, because now is the time in which that uh, the order, or the, the, the order established by Melchizedek, has been opened to the the, uh, the, the the fullness of all the tribes, so to speak. Uh, that's, I was just touching on Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai dying for the for the Israel sins is the reason we can we can prophesy to this day. All right, and you, and you can read that uh, Revelation chapter five verse five. Okay, this uh, this is Daniel chapter twelve verse nine, and he said, "Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end." Okay, we in the time of the end because why? You see the prophets out here, man. We, the prophets haven't been back in a long time, hundreds of years. That's how you know we in the time of the end. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right. It says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Okay, we, we the wisdom, wisdom cry out in the streets. You see the prophets right now, man, crying out in the streets, week in and week out. All right? Just like the brother uh, Yadah was going into. Begin the lesson. This is how we know that the coming of Yahweh Shah is because we're prophesying, we're declaring it. You know? That's right, that's right. You got something more? Okay, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness, for the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. All right, yeah, because uh, basically, all right, in these last days, all right, the prophets are being raised up, all right? That's how you know, that's through through these prophecies coming to pass and the prophets being raised up, all right? That's how we know that that this thing is closer, all right? That's how we know that Yahweh Shai is at the door, okay? And, um, you know, with, with every fall of a kingdom, Okay, the, the Most High sets up men to, to bring the warning, okay, and to admonish the, admonish the people and to get their minds prepared for what's getting ready to go down, all right? And this is going to be the, the final showdown, so to speak, okay? The final curtain call, the, the biggest judgment the earth has ever uh, experienced, man, all right? That's right. I'm going to make a quick point off uh, what the captain said as far as um, the Most High, um, bringing his word, bringing a, a, a warning before he actually enacts judgment. And that goes to the topic of the lesson as well and why it's, uh, it's not only important for our own particular salvation, 
for the salvation of our families, for the salvation of the, of the families and the men around us. But it's important too because we are actually, uh, by, by allowing Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai to use our earthly vessels as a, a, a earthly form, as a vessel to put forth this word, all right, we're actually being a part of the prophecy to, to herald the coming of our Lord, man. We're actually uh, 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 spiritually through our flesh manifesting the word of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. That's right. Right. You can see on it too. God, it's a little more, yeah. All right, it says, uh, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation for so far beyond all they looked for. Yeah, because these people, they they, they, they can't, it's right before their eyes, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has blinded them to have the understanding of what he's doing with us, man, you know? And, and uh, even with that, that's why, you know, some, there's certain times in which the walk gets tight, in which your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is putting pressure on us to uh, 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 to continue to, to purge and pur purify us, all right, and make us more and more worthy of more and more of his spirit, his knowledge, his wisdom, his understanding. But it's important to continue continue uh, uh, your fight of faith, so to speak, man, okay, because uh, Most High has chosen uh, you, chosen us to be a, a part of this ministry, man. And it, it's, that's, that's no light, that's no light feat. Like I said, it, it comes, it, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot to that, but uh, uh, the more that we can embrace the understanding of that fact, the more strength and the spirit that you'll have to to, to, uh, to fight this fight, man, and continue in this uh, this ministry, man. All right, that's right. Uh, got something. Keep reading on that. God. God says, uh, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit mm -hmm. shall say within themselves, this was he who had, whom we had sometimes in derision in a proverb of, of reproach, yeah, and and that 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 proverb uh, of reproach goes into all of our all of the members of our nation, man. All right, because if we, if we actually look at it, all of our people are getting the, the squeeze put on by Esau Edom, man. The so-called Negro Latinos, the uh, 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 the the the, the, um, the 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 Latin tribes on the border. All right, of, of Mexico and U.S. They're catching hell. All right, the those in the Caribbean, they're catching hell. All right, those in South America, Venezuela. All right. Us. Us, yeah, yeah. you know, Uruguay, Brazil, they're catching hell. All right, there's even a, um, I saw on TV uh, this morning. I was eating breakfast, and I saw on TV, uh, even here in Georgia at DDS, the Department of Driver Services, they were discriminating against uh, Ephraim, man, so-called Puerto Ricans, mm. man. Mm. And it's like no matter, it's like no matter where we turn, so to speak, these people really look down upon us, man. Mm -hmm. But it, the, that's that's the beautiful thing about about this fight, about this. Uh, um, uh, once again, this ministry is that though the same people that had us in derision are going to uh, be blown out of their mind when Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah deems us worthy of his salvation, man. Yep. Okay, he goes into that number two kind. It says, uh, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision in a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness. Yeah, and, and even this, they're like, Man, what, what are these niggas doing out here, man? <laughs> they, it's, it's the fourth. Like, they they not working. Like, it should be. Getting ready to do what we doing, barbecuing, right. you know, grilling, being with family. You know what I'm saying? Which this is our family, man. That's right. And this is a, this is a, a, a honorable service, man. This is a, a, a reasonable sacrifice, man. All right. right. We, we 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 love doing this because we love serving the Lord. Even though, you know, like I said, sometimes you get your ass kicked, man. But that's that's why the even buzz but I camp. Endure all things as a good soldier, man. All right, because not only are we uh servants, but we also we're also spiritual soldiers, man. Is that a little bit more? Right. It's a little bit more. It says, and his end to be without honor. Yeah, but our end is going to be with honor, man. Oh, we're going to get, we're going to get honor, not just of ourselves. We're going to get honor uh, to and through Yahweh Shai, man. Because we're we're not doing this work for, uh, for vanity, so to speak. We're doing this because we were called and commanded to do this, and we're trusted in our powers, Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai, to uh, 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 reward us for for diligently seeking him, man, and seeking to please him, man. That's right. That's right. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10 Declaring the end from the beginning And from ancient times the things that are not yet done Saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure Because we're commanding What are we doing now? We're declaring it You know he said prophesy against wicked kingdoms You know wicked deeds man That's what we're doing right now though The word must go out for you Our, hey, our power, our master comes back And we must allow him to use us You know to perform his will We got to finish his work you know, it's not for our sake, it's for his, man, for the glory of Yahweh Shah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yep. I got this. We can finish all brother. got anything else. Come on, come on. This is Ecclesiastic. It's a Sirach, chapter 10. I'm starting verse 7. Pride is hateful before the Most High and man, and by, bo and by both doth one commit iniquity, 
because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by, got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And through this work, and even with this, a part, a part of, um, of, of, of people waking up to the unrighteous dealings of Esau Edom is us going and uh, uh, professing this word, man. All right, Ezekiel 9 and 4, giving our people that spiritual uh, thawah. You know, that, that's a spiritual covering uh, and a hedge uh, and a uh, uh, marking against uh, judgment, man. But uh, um, to, to tie that along with wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, this can only be revealed through the spirit of how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shot if, a number, if an, uh, an exact number of men go out here and, uh, and point the finger at those who are committing these uh, iniquities, man. Right, right. And, 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 uh, uh, and pointing the finger at those who are uh, 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 professing to be to be us and professing to have our birthright, man. And professing to be the, the, the people, the chosen people in line and lineage of the Heavenly Father, man. And that's why, once again, we have to continue to endure this fight and uh, just man up, man, and understand that it's, you know, you're doing it for multiple reasons. Once again, for your own salvation, for salvation of, of those close to you, near and dear to you, if Lord willing, Yahweh Bashem was shot, deems them worthy of it, for and, and just to, to, once again, uh, 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 completely, uh, to the best of our abilities, seek to please Yahweh Bashem was shot. That alone should be enough. But there's a lot of uh, 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 fringe benefits, so to speak, that comes along with that, man. That's right. You know? Brother, got anything else? Yeah, I got something. Okay, Connors. Brother, Ephesians 5 and... Uh, Ephesians 5 and uh, 15. See then, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the, so the time, because the days are evil. Yeah. yeah, so basically, you know, what we're going into, basically how we're redeeming the time, okay, Knowing that we're in the last days, that's why the Lord put the Spirit on us to basically uh, uh, warn, okay, to be the watchman, all right? A watchman uh, in the ancient world, his job was to sit at the gate of the city and to watch out for uh, uh, oncoming trouble, okay? And we, we can see the oncoming trouble. It says the days are evil, evil meaning bad times, so we see the bad times coming. We're, we understand clearly uh, uh, World War Three is on the horizon. We understand... Artificial intelligence, the mark of the beast, uh, the chip, you know, all these different things uh, that are coming to pass, okay? And Yahweh Shai is, is raising us up and putting putting his spirit on us to continue to push this word even even harder and harder, all right? So uh, that's all I got. That was all I got. Uh, I, I'll leave out with a quote uh, mentioned right. by Apostle Gabar. Uh -huh. He said, Well, words can't teach you, adversity will. Ooh. You know? So if you, if you don't listen now, you're going to listen. You know, and same with us as well, man. Sometimes you gotta get take through that experience, that trial, that affliction. You know, just to get just to get purified, man. Come out even stronger. That's right, bro. You know? That's right. Yeah, I just wanted to leave it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Lord willing, you know, your brothers and sisters and children, everyone who every viewer was edified. Once again, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Kadosh. Double honors to our apostles, our elders of Great Millstone, who lead teaching rule well. Love and honor to you. I can push the word in true favor sincerity. Until next time, shall I want. Shall I want.